Okay, the following video segment outlines some of the upgrades I made to my 1990 Toyota pickup truck in the area of the electrical system, specifically with regard to the battery, the cables uh, to the starter, and also the alternator. Someone in another video had asked me to kind of clarify some of the things I had done. So this video originally was part of another video, but I, I edited out the part regarding the battery and the electrical system. So hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, you can always use the comment section. Most all the parts that I get, as mentioned in the video, is, comes from either Amazon or McMaster Car. But if you have any specific questions, I can always, I'm happy to look up any part number. So I hope you enjoy the video. Like I say, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to use the comments section. And for anyone, somebody was asking the other day to show my battery wiring stuff that I did. And I took out the air injector thing to change the, uh, the uh, oil filter the other day. So you, without the, all that stuff in the way, you can kind of see. So I, what I did was I just bought some of this, some of this uh, marine grade wire let me turn off my headlamp here a little bit there we go so i use a wire called an uh ancor it's a marine grade copper wire that's tin uh coated so you can see it's a six grade uh six gauge wire and then i buy i use these little guys here to clamp down and i'm running the braille g uh, 30 lithium ion battery and I just used a strap to to secure it I I, I used a, a die grinder to open that little slot up so I could run the strap you know in and under and this is just the I believe this was what came off of the tool holder behind the seat and I just used a d-ring you know and some some military grade strap I had around so that works real well it's easy to pop on and off and <clears throat> this is just heat sink uh, excuse me this is just heat shrink tubing that I had uh, and some of this kind of uh, uh, rubberized uh, heat high heat it's like a rubberized fiberglass you get it off of McMaster car and then this is uh, the I think it's Alex Tech Flex that I bought off of Amazon I'll, I'll see if I can dig up some of the links let me grab a flashlight here that I can direct out of the tool chest and I can kind of Kind of show how I how I have things set up so you can see I just I ran the wires directly from the battery you know down through that little factory kind of channel thing and through there and then I just I just you know soldered on uh, new lugs bolted directly to the frame and then I, I think I've shown my other videos I have a, a dedicated ground strap between the block and the cylinder head and then I just run it back there to I think I have a high torque uh, starter that I got off from LC Engineering. I don't believe this one's a gear reduction. I think it's just high torque. And I just, you know, I just rebuilt all the wires basically. So it's nothing too, nothing too fancy. You can kind of see it back there. I had to hunt down the, the correct uh, connectors on eBay. It's, you know, it's just a lot of time and effort goes into all this stuff. And you know, when you're redoing all the wires, you know, you're like, well, I went this far, I might as well shrink wrap it or heat shrink it, or I might as well put some, you know, a high heat insulation on there. And then you can kind of see how it goes. And then as far as kind of just to catch the other side, the alternator is a 140 amp job, uh, also from LC Engineering. They sell it on their website there. And then I just redid, you know, some of the lugs. And I ran a dedicated, uh, I think it's an eight gauge or something wire, that red one, and then just, you know, ran it all the way along the harness over there. And if you look in over here, you can see I've got the, uh, I've got 135 amp uh, fuse breaker wired into the mix, and then it kind of comes across over here and let me pop this open you can kind of see so then I've got I, I, I wired in my own factory style uh, 140 amp fuse there and then you can see right right up here I've got my own little circuit breaker for the driving lights 
And then if you peek down there, I've got another 40 amp. It's kind of hard to see, but put that in here. I've got a 40 amp breaker, and these are just a C, uh, Blue C or something amp uh, breakers. And I just get them off, you know, either directly from Blue C or for, from McMaster Car. So that's a 40 amp that's dedicated into the fan, the small fan, uh, electric fan. So that kind of gives me a little bit of protection, you know, backup protection when it comes to some of these circuits. So if I'm out on the road and something goes haywire, you know, I can always reset, you know, like the fan, for example. If the fan overheats, it'll, it'll trip that 40 amp down there before it melts, you know, something. And then the same with the, because I'm running a lithium ion battery, there's sort of a danger that if the battery were to be totally depleted and I fired up the motor, this alternator would suddenly say, oh cool, 140 amps is what we need over there, and boom, you know, you could actually kind of fry some of the wires or heat them up. So that's why I have this uh, circuit breaker over here, which is a little bit less, it's 135 amps. Just so that if this battery ever went totally dead, which it should never do because I'm always keeping tabs on the motor and stuff, but if this battery ever went completely dead and demanded a huge amount of electrons, I don't really want my alternator kicking out the full 140 because I have other means to charge the, the lithium ion battery. So that's how I kind of have things wired up. Under normal operation on the truck, because I have LED headlights and things, you know, the truck probably draws 15, 20 amps uh, from the charging system, you know, if that. So I'm, I'm operating well below the threshold of what the truck is, is capable of. But that, but for the person who asked, that just kind of shows how I wire everything. And like I say, just, it's all marine grade stuff. Uh, most of it comes from, from Amazon or, or McMaster Coil. That's where I get almost everything. So, As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to use the section below. Consider subscribing. Hit the like button there if the video has been helpful to you. And uh, thanks very much for watching.